Hey, what's up guys and gals? My name is rick 9 g Thank you so much for joining me today. We're going to be talking about I Love Lucy. More specifically about the first apartment that the Ricardos lived in. That was from season one to season two. Well, that's most of season two. I'll be giving away a new I Love Lucy DVD, the one with all the specials in color for one lucky winner. If you wanna know how to win it, there's no money involved, nothing you have to pay. You don't even have to pay shipping. I just ship it directly to you. I'll let you know more details in this video, so make sure to watch the whole thing. Which is why I am taking advantage of the color episodes for this video, so I hope you enjoy seeing these in color. Now starting with the first apartment, as I mentioned, the Ricardo's apartment was very small compared to the second one which they were if we look at the living room situation there's either a brick wall in the back or there's a window in the back again in the living room and so if you have the brick wall that's the first apartment that's the earlier apartment and if you have the window that's the one that's later on that's the one that superman climbed out of lucy cries wolf it's that apartment so we're talking about the first one in this episode the one with the bricks in the living room now if we go to the kitchen that's where this mystery door was now i thought about this a while back and i've wanted to make this video for a while and i thought i need to make it now because i really want to tell you guys about this door now i don't know how many of you noticed that this door was even there it kind of blends into the background especially if you look at this in black and white but in color it's more highlighted now if we look to the left we can see that of course this is a doorway that leads from the ricardo's living room into the kitchen then if we look on the right side, that is of course where the Mertzes usually come in. That's the back porch area and it connects along the porch to the Mertzes' own apartment. Now if we look back, we will see that you have the refrigerator there and that mysterious door. And the reason why I say it is mysterious is because from my knowledge, from watching every single episode multiple times throughout the age of three, I can tell you that I don't remember ever it being opened at all. And that is really strange. Now, I could be wrong. If I am wrong, let me know and let me know which episode it does. It, it is actually open, but I don't think that is the case. Now, continuing on, I don't know what this door would even lead to because if you think about it, there would be nothing there. That's a wall. That would even be the hallway outside. So they have a separate exit to the hallway right before their main entrance. It doesn't really make sense. Now, if you try to think logically, you may say, well, we could say that this is a pantry. It's some place where they put certain food items like bread and maybe even canned items, things like that. Now, you could go with that answer and I have no problem with that. However, my issue with that is the placement of the door. If you really look at the door and in this shot, I really wanna highlight it. This is from the episode Job Switching. You will see that that door leads directly outside. There's no space for anything there. It, again, doesn't make any sense and logically it's not how an apartment is ever laid out it doesn't work dimensionally so you may think well what's the purpose of this door here's my view this is what i think and in my opinion this is what i believe is 99 percent true that door is only used when the camera is not on it for example if fred were to come through the front door in regards to the set, he would actually come through the back porch area, he would go through the kitchen, and then he would go through that door, the mysterious door that I'm talking about, which is right next to that front door. It is basically something that the actors would use to get in and out of the set. There are different episodes where they would need to use this door. For example, if you think about the one where Lucy hires a maid, I won't show the clips up, but if you watch the episode, it's pretty simple. She goes out the back door, to throw away some trash and then she said she gets locked out and then she comes through the front door. How would she do that? Well, she would just go again in the kitchen and then go through that second door, that mysterious door that I'm talking about and then boom, she would be right at the front door. It would be an easy access again for the actors. But again, I wanna know your thoughts down below. The mysterious door decoded by Rick9G. Again, I love to always know your thoughts as I said down below. Thanks so much as always for all the love and support on this channel. I love dissecting this show as well as other shows. Love going deeper into them and I hope that you do too. For those that want to know how to win the DVD special with pretty much 
all the episodes in color. It has 16 of them, so I think for many different seasons, so I think that you will have great enjoyment watching them. And by the way, they do have them in the DVD in black and white as well. So if you wanna see them in black and white or in color, it is your choice. You can move back and forth. You have to be a subscriber. Now, if you're already subscribed, then you're closer to winning the giveaway. If you're not, you do have to hit that subscribe button to be eligible. Remember, you only do it once in your life. You don't have to subscribe in every video. But like, yes, please like every video that you enjoy and for the giveaway, you must like this video. Also leave a comment down below with the door. Just make sure you stick it together just like I show it on the screen, no space, so that I know that's the way that I know in code that you wanna participate in the giveaway and write any comment that you'd like pertaining to the video. Then there's a link down below, which I do want you to fill out some information for me. That is just to make it easier for me so that I could ship the DVD to you. It becomes a little bit difficult when so many submissions are there. So if I have your mailing address, your email, and your full name, uh, it does help out to be able to narrow down the winner and get your DVD as quick as possible. We'll see you all next time and don't forget guys and gals, be hopeful. Thanks as always to all the Patreon supporters, especially the executive producers for this video. Andy B, David D, Ricky, and Joe R. Thank you so much to everyone.